Hello everybody and welcome to this live tutorial on Reach Films. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Fagan. I'm a filmmaker in DP based in South Florida. And today what I'm going to do is part two of the Dehancer video series where in part one, I uploaded some 4K clips to the channel and I'll have the link in the description below where you can see I took some red Komodo 6K files and I actually color graded them using Dehancer. And it was a very simple process and I was very excited because uh, Dehancer actually released the Komodo profile last week and I've been waiting to do this video um, with them releasing the profile as with Dehancer you'll see you select your camera profile so it's best that you have a camera that works with Dehancer and you'll get the absolute best results with that. So uh, today what we're going to do is I have DaVinci up over here and I'm going to show you guys how to color grade, um, how simple it is to color grade using Dehancer. So I'm going to pull me off uh, let's see how to do this. Uh, let's do, I'm going to put this full screen. There we go. All right. So here we have uh, Dehancer and Dehancer is a plugin again, uh, again, it's a plugin for DaVinci Resolve. And uh, what you're going to do is I normally use the color tab for Dehancer as it gives you the options if you're shooting in something like red, uh, red code or you're shooting with B-RAW, pretty much any kind of RAW. It gives you the ability to mess with the RAW settings as you see right here in addition to um, doing the color grades in Dehancer. So in order to start, we obviously see we have the log profile right here in red. I'm going to start a new node. It's going to be a corrector. And uh, do note, we are in the color tab of DaVinci Resolve. There's another way to do this, but I believe that this, doing it through the color tab, is the best way as you have all those raw options, like I said before. So right over here on the top right, we're going to go all the way down to Dehancer. Can't actually figure out how to get rid of that old Dehancer that you just saw there. But anyways, so you see it looks a little funky right now, and that's because we did not choose the camera. So right now it just says it's a Rec. 709 source. So we are going to choose the camera. We're going to go to red. We are going to select Komodo 6K. And we are going to choose log. Now it has this uh, profile right here, Kodak Vision 3. Uh, but before we actually do that, let's bring the ISO up because this is supposed to be ISO 800. Actually, let's bring it to 1000 just for this purpose. So right here in the profile, now that we have selected the camera, you have the option to choose what film stock you would like to use. Now, the one thing I'm going to preface is that Dehancer works really amazingly well if you are looking for the film stock look. It is not necessarily a one-shop stop for every single kind of LUT that there is out there, but any, any kind of film stock look, they do really well. And as you can see, this one looks okay. Uh, the one of the ones I like is the Fuji Superior 200. That seemed to look pretty well. Uh, I'm just gonna come back over here. All right. So there's a few other things you could do in Dehancer. You'll notice there's some, there's some stuff that I haven't even messed with just because I don't want to. There's obviously exposure comp. There's defringe, defringe radius. Um, the biggest things on here that you'd want to mess with as a filmmaker is first there's halation, which I had a few questions about this in the 4K video. The halation works. Uh, you could see right here, I'm going to enable it and you'll see, you know, there's a little bit of halation right here, a little bit on her skin, a little bit from the light sources. Uh, it definitely works. Um, it's not a complete replacement for using filtration on set. However, uh, it absolutely works for halation and post-production. And, you know, you can mess with how much you want, um, you know, how much you want it to show up. Let's go to amplify. You know, you could just make it show up like crazy. Um, but for uh, my purposes, I tend not to use the halation feature uh, in Dehancer, but it is really useful if you want to have that look in post, especially if you're shooting in something like RAW. It's also the bloom effects, you know, pop it up here. Uh, there's the vignetting. The, the, uh, the other thing is film breath. Now, when shooting with the red Komodo, especially with shooting at ISO 800, um, for me, when it comes to the, the film gain, I guess you could say, the amount of film pattern that's in there, the film breath, um, I like what's kind of there by default on the Komodo. 
But if you want to add it, if you're shooting with like maybe a cleaner camera, like you're shooting with like an A7S and it's super clean, not a lot of grain, you want to add that grain in, uh, there are a lot of options to do so through using Dehancer. Now you also may have noticed I did a corrector right here with the Dehancer plugin. If you're going to do any other color grades like or uh, a color adjustments, I should say, uh, you definitely want to create new nodes and do that after the fact. Um, you want to do that after the Dehancer grade. You so that way you're just not messing up with the original Dehancer grade. Um, and it, uh, like I said, it works pretty well if getting the film look. Uh, or a film stock look is what you're looking for. And uh, there's some really, really cool ones in here. There was one, Afka Color 100, gives it a little bit of a lighter film look. Uh, there was even some tungsten ones, even though I was using daylight balance lights that um, that looked pretty decent. I think it was Cinestill 800. There's just so many options and it makes me really happy that there's a program out here that's super simple to use to get that film stock look. Now, if you're not looking for a uh, film stock look, well, then there are other programs out there that can help you get a LUT for your footage. Uh, but if you're looking for the film stock look, Dehancer does a really great job. As you can see, it is super easy to use. And as I noted, it, the best way to do it is obviously if your camera is supported. Now they support Ari, they support Blackmagic, they actually just added the 6K not too long ago. Um, they support Canon. Uh, they, it looks like they do the C200 and M50. They do DJI, which was really useful when I had the Mavic 2 Pro, although I don't have it anymore. Um, it, you may have seen that video why I got rid of it. We have Panasonic with only the GH5 and GH5S. Uh, hopefully they'll add some more of the cameras soon. Kinfinity, there's always a camera I've been interested in. They have the Mavo LF. They have the Sigma, so I'm guessing that's the FP. Yep. And then they have Sony, which they have the Interesting, not a lot. Uh, they do have the ZV-1, and I did try using uh, Dehancer with the ZV-1, although it was not my favorite. Not because it's Dehancer's fault, but because the ZV-1 is an 8-bit codec, um, and it was kind of falling apart. But that's the simplicity of using Dehancer. I'm going to come back over to the screen over here, put myself back in, and how do we do this? Boom. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So that's the, nut and some, that's the nuts and bolts of how to quickly use Dehancer. As you can see, I really didn't do much, although there is more you can do to the image uh, if you want to brighten up certain spots of the area. It, that, those adjustments, though, are, are really part of DaVinci and not part of Dehancer. So for those, uh, I would definitely look at Casey Ferris as he does a lot of really cool uh, Di DaVinci Resolve tutorial videos. Uh, but that is all stuff that, you know, you do native through DaVinci and not necessarily through Dehancer. So Dehancer is kind of like the starting point, And then you do more to your image and you can change a lot on your image as you go through and mess with the settings. So I did this video today as a live video, as you may notice, just because it's easier to do the screen share talk and have it all in one, which is why I added the 4K uh, footage uh, from the Red Komodo in a separate video, which again is in the link below. So if you want to kind of see what various uh, looks from the Red Komodo look like using Dehancer, uh, I have that in the link below and I'll probably put a card in as well. Uh, kind of did this to be really quick, so that's, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments below. Uh, figured it's pretty straightforward. That's why I really like Dehancer. So uh, until next time, if you guys got knowledge out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And uh, thank you for watching for those who tuned live. And until next time, my name is Jeff Fagan. I will see you in the next video.